There's your punch out board. So I wanted to just go over it real quick. So it had bad sockets here. I pulled that ram because I thought it might have been bad, but it ended up being good. That ram was bad, however. Bad socket here. Uh, I believe I had to reprogram a couple of these. Yeah, I don't remember now. This top board had um, nine ICs bad outside of all that. So let's see if I could find a, all right, there we go. So that part right there, that's a Fujitsu part. Those fail on these Nintendo boards. Actually, they fail on pretty much every board. Just go bad for no particular reason. Uh, after finding those nine bad on the CPU board, it still wasn't booting, it was locked up. I found another um, uh, two more bad on the video board. See if I can point them out. There was that one there, that one 299, happened to have been a Fujitsu part. And then there was a 367 right there. That was also bad. With uh, those replaced, the game started working correctly. So as you can tell, it's got sound, inputs work.